Hi. So this is going to be my intro. I already finished the ring, <laughs> but I'm going to show you guys the whole process, put together a video of each step basically. Um, and yeah, then you'll see the end, how weird I am. <laughs> it's all fun though. So I should start practicing to look at the actual camera instead of myself. Once I have a forward-facing vlogging camera, it will be much easier and I will be better, I promise. But yeah, I'm excited to show you guys the steps and the process of making the um, breast milk resin capuchon ring. Uh, so it, I guess it's not the full process because I don't think I have videos on here. I don't know. I may have videos on here um, showing the process of me preserving the breast milk. I'll have to look, but I'm going to put together the video of me at least creating the base, the sil sterling silver base um, for the cabochon that I made for my aunt. And yeah, you'll see the process and hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, enjoy my weirdness too. It's free. Sort of. <laughs> so I'm going to start editing, but I hope y'all enjoy. So I already got this, <coughs> excuse me, I already got the shaped bezel soldered onto this back plate. So I have to saw that out, but I'm going to work on the actual ring part of it. It's going to look like this. So my goal is to just solder a small section together without having the rest of the wire on the other half of the circle soldered together as well so that way I can pull it apart a little bit and have this nice little you know two I don't even know what you call that <laughs> have this little double design we'll say this little double wired design but it's not going to be, obviously, with the flower. I mean, I could. It's, I could do a breast milk flower ring for someone or pendant or earrings or whatever. Um, but it's going to be actually for this beautiful little teardrop breast milk pendant for my aunt. And we are going to saw this out afterwards. I just want to work on this base because I really want to get this done. I have these two pieces here. I have already cut the wire, shaped it, soldered it, shaped it again, cleaned it up, all that fun stuff, flattened it out. And I need to now figure out where I'm going to solder these pieces. I'm thinking... I'm thinking that's how we're going to do it. So we're going to line the two pieces that, uh, there's, sorry, the two sections that I cleaned up together because I'm actually going to solder there where I've already soldered before because when I solder this onto, I know I'm saying solder a bunch of times, but when I solder this, excuse me, base onto the bezel, onto the, once I get this cut out and I solder this onto the back plate of this, it's, I don't want to have the sections that have been sliced and soldered together to form the circle soldering onto that back plate because that's gonna be a lot of heat i'm gonna want to you know flatten it out a little bit so i'm gonna want to have excess heat on there and i just don't want them bending they can it can separate it can create a bump it can really f it up so i just don't want to do that um so i filed i just you know finger finger hand, hand filer there to file one side of that and then I'm gonna also file this other side make it nice and flat so we can I forgot which one I'm gonna go this end it for you. I'm gonna file this side down make it nice and flat you can always 
put Sharpie also on the edge of um, anything that you need to file down to make a flat edge so that way you can solder onto a black back plate or solder, you know, together. Like I'm going to do these two pieces that needs to make some flesh and flat. You can <clears throat> put some Sharpie on that end and then the side that you want to um, sand. And then once you sand it down, you'll see Sharpie left over. You'll know that you need to keep sanding because you got to make it all flat. So it's, it's a good tool, that Sharpie. But anyways, let's just get to business here. Right. So that looks good. It looks looks nice and flush. Solder flows, okay. And the more heat that you apply to it, well, solder flows when you have flux, when you flux your piece. So, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know like the the you know complete details on it because I'm not like a fucking master. I just you know do this stuff for fun and for my leash and I make people happy and I'm still learning and there's always stuff to learn. But anyways, um so don't you know make fun of me if I'm not all technical. But um because I'm still kind of a noob at this too, in a sense. But there's always stuff to learn. I'm gonna be for I'm honestly I call myself a noob in everything, and I think it's just because like I'm always learning, and I'm and I'm not afraid to admit that that you you know you just you gotta keep messing up and to make things better. So this one of those. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna take this lead pencil and see how I marked it in three different spots. So one where I cleaned it up, where it's soldered together um, originally on these two pieces, and then where I want the solder to end and where I want it to end on this side as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up <clears throat> and I'm gonna take this pencil and I'm gonna just color on this piece. And honestly, I'm gonna do the whole freaking side that I do not want to be soldered together because last time, this is my second attempt on this one because you gosh, I've already messed this up. So last time I had <laughs> soldered the whole damn thing together because I didn't put enough um, pencil, like lead coloring on this these pieces to make sure that I it didn't flow. Um, and that was frustrating. So, fuck it. I'm just gonna put in a little extra work. For some reason, the lead um, pencil, the lead in the pencils, these just don't, it doesn't let the solder flow. I don't know why. Again, I'm not technical. I'm a noob. I am a fairly knowledgeable, I try to figure things out, noob. But you know what? There are still a lot of things that I don't know. <clears throat> tons of things that I don't know but I'm willing to learn okay so now that those are oh fuck I gotta add some water to this so this is my flux and it's dry as hell right now I can imagine hell is pretty fucking dry with how hot it is let me add some water water oh my god don't fall I just hit my stand that that's on and I'm actually going to add more noise, nice consistency there. Noise consistency. That's kind of what I want it to be like. I'm going to put this away. And then I'm going to do there, there. Okay. Flux it. Flux it. Flux it. Not flex it, but flux it. Boom. Okay, and then we're going to take some medium purple is medium white is easy black is hard and purple is medium we're gonna take some solder and we're gonna put it right there actually we're gonna hammer this out we're gonna flatten it first and now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right there Fuck. I have to make it stick there we go. All right, that's it. Because that little tiny piece of solder, even though, I mean, that's kind of a fairly, you know, that's a, that's a okay size piece. That's going to, that's going to make that whole, oh my God. It's going to make this whole side 
slow. So I felt be able to do this whole time. Sure, that's nice. Don't need a lot. Actually, let's go a little hotter. Ooh, not that hot. Should be good. Now we're gonna cool it off. And then it's in there. My pickle pot. Guys, I am a sailor. I have a mouth of a sailor. And there's just no change in it. Unless I'm around my kids. <laughs> and even then, it's a struggle. Wow, it's a good thing that I have nails on because I want to sod my real nail off. I want to sod my mother fucking finger off. I'm going to this and honestly, I am going to tighten this. It's fine. I have more. But that really sucks. I don't like breaking these. I'll be back. All right, make sure the teeth are facing down. Beautiful man, baby. Baby. <laughs> Thank you for bringing those up. He's bringing pellets up. Okay, yeah. So now I just have to clean that up. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I had something in my bag there. Anyways, guys, please don't mind the mess. I have shit everywhere. This is how I work. Organized chaos. We've discussed this. Um, 
<laughs> I'm gonna move that too. <laughs> if you know, you know. It's fine. Um, can you? Can you see this? Okay, first of all, look at how rough. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off. <clears throat> Gosh, I gotta, look, I gotta make sure you see this. Look at how rough that is right now, okay? It's rough. It's pretty rough around those edges. Yeah. Yeah. We can smooth that out. We can make that look pretty. But yes, that's what it's doing. It's making it look nice and shiny and smooth. With this piece, with the, how this is coming out, okay. okay. So, we're going to now that it's cleaned up, we're gonna take our little friend here. These these guys are friends. They're best friends. They're gonna be mated for life. Yay! Oh, focus. Yay! Come on, brah. Work with me. Alright, I think... <laughs> Well, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, you kind of can see. See that shiny part? That's flat. That's flat. The rest is... <clears throat> the rest is curved. So, that's where I'm going to solder this little baby onto. Boom. All right, let's get her done. I just love that sound <laughs> as I do. Look at that. All right, let's um clean this baby up a little bit, and we'll be back. Okay, here we have our little beauty. Okay guys, I have some liver of sulfur here that I'm going to use to oxidize this ring. And I have to get the boiling hot water out of the microwave real quick. I need it to be super hot in order for this oxidization process to work with the liver of sulfur.
Definitely should have started <coughs> started recording by saying that <clears throat> it is morning. The next morning. I was up until midnight last night working on this. After the babies went to sleep. Thankfully, Junie's cough got tons better overnight. Oh my goodness. I can hear them now. I'm sure you can too. All right, y'all. Okay, in the tumbler it goes. I could not tighten this thing up sufficiently with one hand. <laughs> so that's why I had to shut the camera off, but it's gonna go in here. Got it hooked in there, and then, bada bang, bada boom. We're going to give it 20 minutes, at least, <clears throat> and then we'll be back to set the stone. Y'all, okay, this piece of bread doesn't belong here. This is actually my baby's. I didn't get to show you. Look at how beautiful it looks. Actually, it doesn't look that great, but it's gonna fucking taste amazing. That's All right, baby, you can have a piece. Okay. Whoa, that's so big. I didn't even add any more this time. Dang. All right, um, I should have done this upstairs, but whatever. I'm just going for it. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> okay, guys. Look at how beautiful and shine. This is just about the last process. Last step in this process. The last process. Right. The full fucking process, that's for damn sure. So that's the end of it guys. The ring is made. I'm about to ship it out to her and yeah, it just took my whole baby's nap break to <laughs> edit that video, but I hope that you guys enjoyed and we're going to go sledding soon. So y'all, yeah. 
stay warm, stay cozy, stay magical, and hopefully you'll tune in for the next videos that I upload, considering this is my first. Again, I'm a noob, so I'm sure I'll get better at it. I just need to up upgrade my camera, first of all, um, not use my phone, but we'll get there. It's all a process. All right, guys. Peace out. See ya.